good afternoon chairperson and all jury members and my respect to seniors today i am going to represent my poster on role of crime scene investigation in collaboration with autopsy report to know the cause and manner of death in an exhumed case myself dr gopal sharma resident in forensic medicine in pgm as rohtak introducing like introduction approach for crime scene investigation investigation can be divided into four phases as observation or data collection hypothesis or story building assessment and last is recovery observation of scene of death leads to a cycle of hypothesis creation and testing with collaboration of other information leads to outcome of cause and manner of death consequences of an impact some type of contact phenomena such as indentation large local deformation a wide variety of fractures bruising etc and the transmission of loading effect to distal parts of the system labeled waving propagation whose manifestation often produce damaging effect at location removed from the contact point as exemplified by the contrapoc phenomenon there are no pathognomic autopsy finding to diagnose a fall of heavy object on head therefore differential between a fatal case of abusive head trauma and heavy object toppling could be established by historical and seen evidences however injury are mostly confined to the head and are crushing in nature let's have a case report regarding this on 21 7/19 a male body aged around 1 year 11 month was brought to the mortuary of pandit bhagwat dayal sharma pgm sotak for medical legal post mortem examination after exhumation body from chc by medical officers on the ground of advanced stage of decomposition of the body crime scene investigation by local police was done and cause of death as certain as fall of loosely placed brick was on the head of deceased the family gave alleged history of homicide and filed a case against the neighbor multiple facts of skull bones were present with depression at places the skull fracture was linear and diastatic type brain was turned to a pasty material with the hemorrhagic tinge due to decomposition complete posterior transverse serial fracture of right side of ribs of 5th 6th and 7th ribs were present by following circumstantial evidences and crime scene investigation there was a rumble of bricks and concrete present at the scene of death go to all the pictures which are showing the multiple fractures of head and ribs let's come to discussion the cause of death was given as blunt cranio cerebral trauma all the injuries are anti mortem in nature due to blunt force trauma additional instruction was given to investigation officer to bring forensic expert crime scene investigation report to give manner of death crime scene investigation report gave enough circumstantial evidences to rule out the homicide in this case conclusion fatal blunt pediatric head injury when and if stated cause complex forensic issue often the main issue that is whether the injury are due to homicide or an accidental event in accident further clarification is needed to determine whether it was due to a fall or a cross injury if the clinical history and crime scene findings are obvious it become a crucial in determination of the cause of death there are three references which were given jamson a the principal and practice of crime scene investigation science a biomechanical neuropathy of adult and pediatric head injury british journal of neurosurgery fatal pediatric head injury due to atopical television does the injury pattern or the visual head trauma thank you